Hello everybody, my name is Avi Solkoff and today I will be guiding you through how to use the University at Albany Virtual Event Management System, or as we like to call it, EMS. Whether it is tabling in and around the campus center or reserving rooms for a future event, this tutorial will help guide you to be able to reserve spaces in and around the campus center. So let's begin. The first step to reserving any space is to go to the EMS website, which is uaems.albany.edu. In the top left hand corner of the new screen, you will see a login logout tab. Click that. That tab will bring you to a login screen where you'll put in your UAlbany net ID under user ID, and then underneath password, put in the password associated with that net ID. Then click login. If you're not able to log in, you may not have access. Please contact your department head or student organization president for more information about this. Also note that student organizations are only allowed two reservations coordinators per group so you may need to consult those designated individuals. A new screen should pop up with multiple different tabs. To start making a reservation, scroll over the Reservations tab. From there, depending on where and what kind of reservation you would like to make, you click the appropriate drop-down tab. So let's say I wanted to reserve a room in the Campus Center. I would scroll over the Reservations tab and click the Campus Center Room Reservations Form tab. Let's go ahead and do that. This takes you to a new screen where you fill out the main aspects of your reservation. On the left hand side, there will be a box that says when and where. This is where you fill out some of the general information about the event. So let's do an example. Say I want to reserve a room for Thursday, March 26, 2015 from 2 to 5 p.m. Under where it says the word date, you will see a box with the numerical date and the day of the week. You can click that box and write in the date yourself or click the nine little boxes next to that box and a calendar will pop up where you can scroll through to find the appropriate date. After you've chosen the date, you can repeat the process with the start and end time on the box directly underneath. Again, you can type in the time or use the little clock symbol next to the box to choose the appropriate time. Please make sure to double check if this time is AM or PM for your event. After you set your times, you go down to where it says setup information and in the box where it says attendance, place the estimated amount of people you are expecting to have for your event. So for our event, we'll make it 100 people. From there, you click on where it says setup type and select the appropriate setup type for your event. For setup type descriptions, please go to the main page and see the link under resources and links that says setup types diagram. So for our example, we're going to choose banquet round table. Assuming all this is done correctly, when you click the button underneath where it says availability filters that says find space, you will get a listing of all available spaces in the campus center that fit your criteria. Now this is only if your event is a one-time event. If your event will reoccur many times, next to the box where you put in the date, there's a button you can click called recurrence. From there, a pop-up will appear where you will fill in the necessary information for the multiple events. For now, we'll just stick with this being a single unique event. After you click the Find Space button, an edited window will appear showing the availability, location, and capacity of those rooms. You will see two tabs under the Location tab called List and Grid. The List tab is the default tab and will tell you whether or not a space is available. As you can see, for the specific information I put in, there are no rooms available. You then have two options. Your first option is to click the grid button next to the list and a calendar will open up detailing each of the spaces availability. Anywhere there is a blue box, the space is unavailable at that time. So what you do is either shift the event time to match the empty spaces or go back to the when and where tab on the left and change the date and time of the event. So unfortunately in our example we are not able to get a space for that day. So I'm going to go back and change it to a new day and time. Let's change the date to Monday, April 27th from 12 to 3 p.m. find space, and there we have an open space. If we want to reserve that room, under where it says the word select, we click the green plus sign and they will instantly move to the selected events category. From there, read the terms and conditions, click accept, and then press continue. After clicking continue, you will then be transferred over to the details tab, where you begin to specify details about your event, such as name, event type, group you're reserving the event for, contact information, as well as any other information that you can provide about the event. So in our example, let's call our event General Interest Meeting. The event type will be a meeting, and the group, Albany Student Television. Once you have chosen the student group you're representing, a drop-down tab will appear called First Contact. From there, choose your name and your information should pop up. For my own privacy, I have blocked out my information. Continue to scroll down and type in or click on any information anywhere there's a red asterisk. So for our example, in the first box it will say, this meeting is for the interested individuals looking to join our club.
For food and beverages, I'm going to click yes. I will contact you Albany Dining for catering. In this case, we will need help setting up AV, audio and visual, in that room. So I will type, we will need help setting up projectors, microphones, and the audio system. I don't have any questions or concerns. Now I will choose any AV equipment that I will need. So I need one lectern, one lectern microphone, a projector, a projector screen, and the auxiliary sound system for that room. If you are unsure of what equipment you would like to use, feel free to state that in the additional AV support box above. After you do that, click the Submit Yellow button. This should take you to a bookings page where you see all information about the room you just booked and the status is being requested. At this moment, you have put in a request and the room and space is not yet confirmed. You or the temporary contact will get an email stating that whether or not your booking has been confirmed. And that's it. If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to contact Campus Center Connections at 518-442-5450 or Campus Center Management at 518-442-5450. 5491 or by emailing Emily Davis, Assistant Director for Reservations at her email edavis2 at albany.edu or by visiting us at the Campus Center Connections Desk in the East Lobby of the Campus Center. I hope this tutorial has been useful and thanks for using Virtual EMS. Have a great day!